Since the Hanguan War Games ended last week, there has been criticism that they did not prepare soldiers for the reality of war. According to one ex-officer, the tactics that used could backfire in combat and the fortifications built would not withstand an attack. In response, the Defense Ministry said the drills would continue to be improved to better reflect combat situations. Last Friday marked the end of the 39th Hanguan War Games, which featured high-profile anti-landing exercises. Critics say the drills were more show than substance. In a talk show interview, a former naval officer questioned whether the fortifications and tactics deployed during the drills would actually be useful in a PLA attack. He said that, although footage of the exercises looked impressive, the troops did not have concrete fortifications and a real enemy may not advance exactly as Taiwan imagines. The ex-officer said Taiwan soldiers only had wooden planks and sand to stop the enemy. He said it appeared that the drills were meant primarily for show. All military training exercises, including this year's Hanguang exercises, are meticulously planned out based on the threat posed by the PLA. We develop the possible scenarios, and based on those scenarios, we plan out the war exercises. Of course, we will continue improving our combat training exercises, making them more realistic and similar to real-life combat scenarios. I think this is something we will continue working on in our training. The military said that all drill scenarios were based on possible enemy threats. It said drills would continue to be improved to more closely match combat situations. In related news, the military responded to calls for relocating a Jilong ammunition depot, where an explosion injured nine soldiers last month. The two severely injured soldiers have undergone intensive surgical treatment. Wound debridement will continue to be performed in the future, as well as skin grafting and reconstruction. The seven soldiers with minor injuries are due to be discharged today. They will still be called back for follow-up visits for further evaluation. The locations of our ammunition depots are chosen based on operational requirements, based on meticulous and comprehensive reviews. To minimize the impact of this depot on nearby residents, we have already made alterations so that non-hazardous supplies such as light weaponry ammunition as stored near residential areas. Moving forward, we will continue earnest discussions with the city government and local residents over this issue. Amid calls for the depot's relocation, the military said it had made adjustments and was coordinating with all stakeholders to achieve a resolution.